We present a methodology to enable a cloud router to autonomously navigate through multi-floor indoor environments. The platform is equipped with an IMU and attitude stabilization and purchase from ascending technologies. We further customize the platform with laser scanner with diffractive mirrors and a camera. All computations are performed on board using a 1.6 GHz Atom processor. We now show a set of experiments to demonstrate the system performance. The experiments are conducted at the University of Pennsylvania. The robot is fully autonomous and has no power knowledge of the environment. The user only provides high-level goals. The first experiment shows the ability of the robot to perform autonomous navigation across multiple floors. The robot is able to automatically take off and navigate to the second floor, smoothly transitioning between floor levels. A multi-floor map is generated as a new floor level is detected. We use efficient scan matching fields with IMU measurements to estimate poles. We adjust the problems of mapping and drift compensation via an incremental slant algorithm with optimizations to reduce computational requirements. The robot descends to the open lobby from the second floor. It then closes the loop and returns to the starting location. Here we show the 3D multi-flow map. In the second experiment, the robot navigates in a mixed indoor-outdoor setting. This experiment shows that our system can adapt to different kinds of environments with different feature types. We highlight the robot's ability to adapt to unmodeled aerodynamic effects caused by external wind. Here the robot encounters a strong wind disturbance before entering the building. It automatically compensates for external forces caused by the wind. We show here the final map. Our system can also close large loops across multiple floors. The robot moves to the lower floor from the stairwells. The multi-floor structure is clearly reconstructed. Since the length of the loop is far beyond the feasible flight time of the robot, we carry it to emulate flight. This experiment also demonstrates loop detection and closure. The loop closure solution is vision-based and fast enough to perform on board.